As always, we like to start off by giving all praise to the Most High, the God of Africa. I want to officially welcome you to Ghana and to this conference. This conference is a unique conference. Brother Bumani had a unique idea. We started over a decade ago sharing with you information on investing in Ghana and in Africa. But at the end of the day, you can only be, in my mind, an African if you own some of Africa. I mean, we can say this is our land, and it is our land, but we need to own some of it. We need to put some of the deeds and it's not difficult. I want to share with you that. I was blessed to repatriate to West Africa in 1986 at the tender age of 32 with my daughter. And there was no looking back for me because I grew up in apartheid America. I grew up in apartheid America. And apartheid America is a very, very, very wicked place for children. We also celebrating 50 years of the assassination of our king, who saw that we will get to the promised land. He said he may not get there with us, but we as a people will get to the promised land. And trust me, the only promised land for us is Africa. And you think I'm joking? You go and ask Donald Trump to give you your 40 acres on the mute. <laughs> They're all the same. When it comes to us, they don't think we deserve anything on this planet but death. But the table is turned, and soon Babylon will fall. They're going up in smoke. <laughs> so, at this time, I'd like to call my brother, who I met in Ghana, bringing a group, and I've seen him grow from strength to strength. And we love the work that he's doing. He's continuing the work of the late Honorable Leon Sullivan, that used to bring people here to invest. When he made transition, it just, you know, no leadership stepped up to bring people to Africa, the richest continent on the planet. We should be encouraged to come here. We should be encouraged to share in the profit of Africa. When I left America, I had a thousand dollars. Now I have properties, own homes. I mean, I've gone from rags to riches, but most importantly, it's spiritual wealth. But I don't have to worry about money anymore, okay? Because I made a decision to invest in a place where you don't have vampires to steal it from. You. The late Marvin Gaye says, money we make it, before we see it, you take it. <laughs> America has a habit of taking money from people with a bad self. That's right, I said it. They love to take our money. So we gotta what? Take it back. We gotta figure out how to make it happen to get the greatest wealth and ultimately heaven on earth. So at this time, I'd like to call my brother, my friend, Brother Bumani, to say a few words, so we're thankful. Let's give him a round of applause. Appreciate you, Brother David. Appreciate you too, Bumani. 2006, 2018. Wow. 11 and a half years, 12 years strong. Great. Let's give him a round of applause. Yeah. Yes, family, I appreciate everybody's energy on coming to our Repatriation Investment Conference. And this is our dedication to you from the African diaspora. Those of us who are looking to live, do business, and connect in Africa. We have some of the best of our people are repatriated, and they want to share the wealth of their knowledge, of their experience in Ghana. And they want to work with those of us who want to come here so we can work together as a strong nation because we must find a home outside of America. Cut, cut. <laughs> and that's uh, you know, a serious business. Um, it's uh, you know, and my little boy you know, is one of the energy of evolution of what we look at to change, where we raise our children to be leaders and warriors, to build nations and do certain things. 
So that's one of the big fight that we have because we have a terrible education system in America. And also, parents, when they're out there, be careful what you wish for. I remember one time we were fighting for uh, black history, and they gave us some black history. Yeah. Um, black history to where it's telling our folks that uh, our people are workers that you know, came from Africa, like we came on some luxury cruise ship. And so it's, it's just never ended madness. So I also tell our folks that we have to tell our story. So every single journey that we do in Africa, we document it as best as we can and we share the energy of what we're doing with the world as best as possible. But we just want to see more of us reach out and just take this experience beyond experience and be the future leaders of the, the continent that is going to lead from the diaspora and connect to the African continent. So Ghana's uh, introduction and this uh, two weeks around the, uh, the country, Ghana, is going to connect you with so many different things and everything on this journey, on the itinerary, is just relevant. And we all have our red, black, and green shirt on and today, African Liberation Day, or what they call African Union Day, also, is that energy that uh, we started changing our itinerary to be here on African Liberation Day and kind of set the motion and energy. So we appreciate everyone for wearing, this, wearing the colors and, and bringing the strength and keeping us strong. So family, enjoy the presentation with everyone, take notes, network, and just uh, think about the future and let's make it happen. Okay, and as always, we like to get to know you because we're a family. So we like for you to, we're going to give you the mic, you stand and give us your name, where you're from, and maybe just a little brief bio, maybe 30 seconds, tell us exactly, you know, some of the things that, um, um, you know, you do. Thank you.